Welcome to ameliaburton.com.au and welcome to our Fat Facts series. Today's part five, which is the final of my video blogs. And today I'm going to be talking about the four main types of fat that we eat. We have our, unsat our two unsaturated fats, which is monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. We have saturated fats. And finally, we have that nasty one, trans fats. But let's begin with the good fats, shall we? Monounsaturated fat is meant to be and is recorded as being the best fat that we can eat. Monounsaturated fats you'll find in olive oil, you'll find it in avocados, in nuts and seeds. It's liquid at room temperature derived from these plant sources uh, and is meant to promote your HDL cholesterols which is your healthy cholesterols as opposed to your LDLs which I call your lousy cholesterol or your, or, um, your uh, heart disease forming cholesterols. But monounsaturated oil is uh, meant to be the best way to go. The second best way is your polyunsaturated oils. These are also vegetable based and they are also liquid at room temperature and you'll find polyunsaturated in your um, safflower oils, sunflower oils, cottonseed oils. Some margarines will have polyunsaturated, other margarines will have monounsaturated. It just, it really depends but you want to try to derive all of your fats from unsaturated preferably. Then we have your saturated fats. These come from your animal sources. They are hard at room temperature such as butter is an example. Certainly the fat that you find on all the meat that you eat on your steak and your bacon. That's all saturated fats. That tends to promote your LDLs, your lousy cholesterol and um, and can lead to heart disease and, and other uh, coronary, coronary related diseases. Then we have the final relatively new fat out there called trans fats. Now trans fats is a man-made um, substance. It takes vegetable based unsaturated fats and it adds hydrogen to them. It hydrogenizes them which uh, helps with the shelf life of the product. That's why you'll find them in a lot of um, fast food outlets, a lot of bakery, ba baking goods, um, biscuits, Krispy Kreme donuts, that kind of thing. Uh, it's cheap, it improves the shelf life and it's really bad for us. You'll also find it in a lot of um, working machinery. They tend to use trans fats to lubricate uh, big, heavy working machinery such as tractors and things like that. So it's nice to know that, uh, that we get some of the same oils that our uh, cars and our tractors do. So um, there are other fats as well, such as your omega-3s which are your, uh, uh, and 6s and 9s, which are found in your eggs and your fish. But the main ones that I wanted to talk about today are your unsaturated and your saturated fats. So stick to monounsaturateds when you can, and uh, obviously we want to keep our fat levels down in general, but a little bit of fat is very good for you. So I hope you have enjoyed this five-part uh, fat fact series, and I hope you realize that not all fat is bad fat, but let's keep it to a minimum. Until next time, have a great day.